Hey guys, so we had friends that gave us some geese and we are about to go out and catch them this afternoon. And as a, kind of an introduction to that, I wanted to just let you know what my tools are for catching geese. With anything that has a long neck, it's easiest to catch them right behind their head. It keeps them from biting you. It gives you kind of a, a point of control that is not terribly muscular. You wanna be very careful not to hurt them but it is the easiest way to do it. Then you pin their wings underneath, hold it to their body, and then put a sock on their head. Any kind of poultry, this works really well with birds. When you cover their head, they stop struggling and they calm right down. So especially where geese are kind of a larger bird, it's not always easy to keep control of them. So by putting a long sock over their head, you can handle them easier. We'll put them in the cage, we'll bring them home, and we'll have ourselves some geese to weed around our fruit and windbreak trees this year. We are super excited because we thought we were going to have to buy and start out with goslings, which takes a lot longer to mature. And we've always lost our goslings to foxes before. That's why we don't actually have any geese. Is just uh, goose is a fox delicacy. So enjoy the video. I'll use my camera shots like he always uses his camera shots. Show me your tush, hon. Not a good idea when mom's got a big hut. Ooh, goat roast. Yum! So, how'd you season it? Uh, season salt and pepper with red cooking wine and lemon and olive oil. It's always so wonderful tasty. I need you to come in before you freeze to death. It's really cold. I need you to go in before you freeze to death. Well, 
You mean your cowboy boots? My cowgirl. Your cowgirl boots? I've got to get this set up for the geese because they're in there with the ducks and the ducks aren't eating because the geese are scaring them. So I'm going to move them out here. There's plenty of dry straw back in the back for them so that they have somewhere to get in out of the weather and this should be a happier spot for them. Whenever I bring new livestock in, this is kind of what we have to do is kind of play around with where they're most comfortable, where, where it's easiest to get them food and water. Because animals have a tendency to want to not walk around things, especially where they're scared, um, I don't know if I want to open this door or just take it off for a bit. Kind of leaning towards taking it off. This way, uh, it gives them a little bit of a blockage so that I can get them into where I want them. I like to carry something with a long handle when I'm moving poultry. It just really helps to extend that reach of where I want them to go. Geese are pretty low key and they'll, they'll, they, they walk slowly so this shouldn't be too bad but don't quote me on that. I wanted them up in there where I could get them on some straw. Waterfowl need a lot of water in order to be able to get their food down. And so I put their food in a tall bucket next to their water in a tall bucket. And probably I should have got that one wet. They just really do so much better if their food is wet when I feed it to them. Really happy with everything tonight. We went and got the geese. The rabbits are in a warm greenhouse. The babies all look good. I have my wire ordered to make better cages for the rabbits. I just always feel so contented when I feel like my animals are contented. We have a new rooster. I don't know if I can zoom into him. He's right there. We have a new rooster for our lonely chicken. Hey guys, so it's working. Do you see how short the grass is in here? And then right next to it, you see how tall the grass is? So the geese are keeping the grass around the trees down, which is exactly what I need them to do. I don't want to go in and do it with a weed whacker. I want the manure in there, and I want things kept short. I'm taking care of the geese. I need to put a cage around the poppy. Um, and then we're putting another cage around here to put the other set of geese in here. And the reason for that is to keep the grass out from around the trees. Um, a lot of times I cannot find my watering, my drip lines to clear them because the grass is too tall. But if I go in with a weed whacker, um, it seems to be too abrupt of a change for them. Whereas if geese just stay in here and keep everything down, then they're getting fertilized, watered, and weeded at the same time. But you have to be careful not to have too many, and they fight and make a lot of noise if you have too many in together. So I am splitting them up. Well, I got beat up on that one a little bit. So I have two in the roundabout, two around all the fruit trees that go up to the front, and then two around these fruit trees. So I have a little bit of food next to each of them, next to their water, and I have used welded wire fencing and step-in stakes, because even up here we can't get too close in. Okay, if you have to handle it by yourself, grab their head and one wing. Because if you grab their head, they can't bite you. And if you grab one wing, they can't hit you with their wings. So what I'm doing right now is I'm clipping them. 
You can see I put Okay, so I have her wings and I need to switch over if I can find my scissors. Where did I put my scissors? Anyway, that's one wing done. The other wing needs to be done. She is making it over my fences. And I need her to stay where I need her to stay. There you go. Okay, and these are my, they're pretty heavy duty. So she had been making it over the fence. I didn't think she could because she was so heavy, but she was. I need to move the pool over to the other side for my breeders. Because being in water supports their weight enough that they can breed more efficiently. That water, it's a little tricky for them. my other one. I need to get her out. <laughs> the reason for the change is that these guys are just a little bit too close to the rabbits. for me to be able to do chores easily. It's not that I'm afraid of them. It's that it hurts if they come up and bite me. And so, if every time I have to come out and check on the rabbits, I've got a goose biting me. It just makes it inconvenient. So, it's a lot easier just to say, okay, the, the breeders need to be on this side because we don't come out here very much. And the less aggressive ones can be by the bunnies. The breeders need the pool. The non-breeders are okay with just water. And soon all my drip lines will have water in them. And the grass is really going to start growing, so I'm really glad I have them up here early. There we go, two, two, and two. So that goose wants to set, which means I need to give her somewhere with quite a lot of mulch because right now she's going in and she's tearing up the roots of everything she can find, wanting to create a nest. And so when she's acting all aggressive with the grass like that, it just means get your act together, Julie. She wants to make a nest. Okay, so use your tools guys, don't wear yourself out. For a second, let me put the let me put the eggs in. There you go. Okay, now she'll move them around. 